Just a little update. Um, I actually managed to get the the outside of the house cleaned up really nicely, and that also helps me. Um, keeps the city off my back because they like to complain about that kind of stuff. But um, I figure I'll show you guys a little bit of my prepping on the outside to get going. Uh, let me show you inside the bus real quick. It's just about full. Ladies and gentlemen, is a major reason of why I want to move away from Pennsylvania. Yep, I'm tired of this. Yep, I really hate this rain. My front door, we actually had this in the garage, so this is my keyless lock, and I'm using an indoor passage handle for the handle, so it doesn't have a key either. So the only way to open this door without damaging it is to use a code. And it's all electronic. And if your batteries die, you just put a 9-volt battery on there, and you can get in. See, the door at the new house, the house, house, the new house doesn't have a door. So now I have a door. All set up, hinges all ready to go, so all I gotta do is bolt it in, and I'm done. Maybe even next weekend, we will mount Groot up here. A little update. Um, I actually managed to get the, the outside of the house cleaned up really nicely. And that also helps me. Um, keeps the city off my back because they like to complain about that kind of stuff. But um, I figure I'll show you guys a little bit of my prepping on the outside to get going. Uh, let me show you inside the bus real quick. It's just about full. Coming along. These are actually two little dust or LED lights. They do a surprisingly good job lighting up the inside of this thing. Um, there are space for two more bins right here. So you see there's only two bins there, but it can go four high. So two more bins go there. That's for Michelle's stuff. And um, I can fit one more bin on top of this stack of three. And then I can fit one more stack of four in front of that. I cannot have any more bins coming this way. Theoretically, I could put 16 more bins in here. But I need space for the mattresses, tabletops, stuff like that. This door is the front door for the house. Well, this door is 80 inches long, and so are the mattresses. So as long as I have enough space for the door, I have enough space for the mattresses and the tables. So that is dedicated space that I will not be using for anything else. The top space is where I'm stuffing all the soft and or delicate stuff. So here is all my rocket kits. You can see the tip of the nose cone right there for my 10-foot rocket. That goes all the way down there to those boxes and beyond. So that's nice and protected. It won't get damaged. My triple beam balanced. A um, bunch of loose rockets. So they all go up top where they won't get damaged. Um, I think I might be able to fit four more bins right here on top of this stuff. On top of the freezer and the fridge. Because um, I should be able to fit the second microwave on top of here. But that stuff I'll have to secure. So I'll have to figure out some way of locking it down so it can't topple over unless all the stuff here is enough to do that um, maybe on top of the mattresses i could put a couple of lightweight bins more than likely just like bags of clothes like that so that it acts as cushioning and keeps things from bouncing around too much but it's getting there it's almost full that's my door i think i am going to put some bins here in the middle and then just put the mattresses in the trailer. Uh, get rid of all of this. This is part of the payment I'm going to give them. I'm going to try to keep the heater from the bus. I had to replace, get rid of the heater because it was taking up valuable space. Um, but I'm going to hang on to this because it's a pretty simple device. Basically, you run hot fluid through it and then you just run the fans and you get heat. So might be a neat solar water heater if I have space. If I don't, crap happens. The snowblower I got traded for. 3D printer. I think I showed that guys already. You may see this twice. But um, one pull start, electric start, eight horsepower, 27 inch, dual stage, nice snow blower, driven. So we do get snow out there. I hope I will call tomorrow to confirm, but I believe this Wednesday will finally be the day I take the tires down. The bus is full enough that I should be able to secure everything so I can drive it down and get the tires replaced. That will be the spare wheel. Four tires will go on the bus fifth tire will be the spare i got this weber grill 50 bucks already converted to natural gas in excellent condition that's all the pieces so they don't blow away the grates are in good shape all the heat spreaders and burners inside have been replaced nice grill for 50 bucks then over here i got myself my air compressor 
since I will need that out there because I'm going to have to maintain my own tires and stuff like that. I still need to try to find myself a manual tire changer, but I'll probably get that out there. So I could do it myself. You know, why pay someone if I could do it myself? But um, 17 gallon Cobalt Lowe's air compressor, virtually brand new, 100 bucks. It's a good deal. This trailer will go with me because this is the trailer that I tow behind the electric car and my GL. So this trailer is mandatory. And I figured out how I'm going to take this trailer and the other trailer at the same time. So hang on. Of all the crap that was here. Um, he's taking it all. He can use it, so he's taking it. Not the can, of course, but all this stuff. I only kept four of the gas cans. The rest I told him he can have. And the Rubbermaid container he can have. All that stuff he can have. That tr That is going to be my spare tank inside the bus. So that's an extra 30 gallons, just in case I need fuel. I told him he can have all the scrap metal. I also got a whole bunch of pure aluminum inside. I told him he can have it in exchange for this. He's going to take all this crap. Now, here's how I'm going to do this. Let me go wide angle. That small trailer over there is going to get bolted right onto this A-frame trailer right here. See all this big, long neck? This is a boat trailer. So the front of your boat would be up here like this. I built a stake body on it. So this came as a boat trailer. I built that. Um, well, me, my brother, Anthony, back when he wasn't stealing from me and doing drugs. <laughs> so I'm going to bolt that trailer up here, right there. And then in that trailer is going to be my T-cart and my grill, because those are both lightweight and delicate so they'll be the only two things in there you know, maybe a bag of blankets or something like that underneath the grill and a tea cart to fill in space you know just double triple bag it so it doesn't get wet spare tires for the truck and the minivan and then i'll have a few spare tires in each vehicle this was my spare backup water heater i had two this is identical to the one that's in the basement of the house right now i don't need it anymore because the house i'm going to is natural gas so I told him he can have that he actually needs it so that's a good trade um, bunch of tanks I'm keeping those wheels I'm keeping I might get rid of the 13 if I don't take the Metro with me but the two 16 inch wheels are for my old leaf once I confirm that they actually fit my new leaf I'm gonna put snow tires on there so I can just throw them on there in the winter time and then throw the other tires back on there in the summer that big lawn box I gave him let him have it this is the tree I got to kill this weed tree whatever the heck this is the Rubbermaid container let him have it so now the side of the house is all cleaned up this was covered in cans and scrap metal and all the workings of the crap that my brother works on and he didn't clean it up. So I told him he can have whatever he wants as long as he cleans everything up. He cleaned it up perfectly. I have zero complaints. He, he gave me good value for it. The deck is destroyed, but it's all cleaned up. Um, leaving the box, he doesn't need it and the new user might find that box useful. It's actually, this is all the guy's stuff so he'll take all this with him. This is just like a my brother kept all this copper and brass in here, but it's an empty box. So the new users, the new homeowners might find that useful. Although I'm going to snatch them plates. Those are kind of cool. Uh, the deck is trash. They're going to have to rebuild that completely. But they also got rid of all that. I had a whole bunch of red bricks. Told me can have it. Hey, they even cleaned out the shed. They didn't have to do that. I appreciate that. So they really did a thorough job. They kept to their word. That makes me happy. There we go. The new homeowners will have a nice shed they can use. It's even appropriately spaced and supported. They cleaned up all this. They cleaned up the entire yard. The only thing not cleaned up is over here where there's a pile of lumber. This used to be a two layer deck. You can see the runner on the building back there. That used to be a deck. It got destroyed, we didn't take care of it, it's our fault. But they did a, he did a really nice job. Him and his wife did a great job. I mean, I'm giving them a lot of stuff, but this stuff is stuff I can't take with me. So they cleaned everything out of here. I mean, all of it. They did a nice freaking job. I really appreciate that. <laughs> New tree. I'm gonna have to kind of break it. Cause you don't want another tree growing back here. Yep. There we go, kill that tree. <laughs> you don't want more trees, that's for sure. I'm suggesting that they get rid of this tree, or at least cut the top half of it off. Because you can see it's starting to lean a little bit. And the roots are above the soil. They basically need to bring in like five truckloads of topsoil, like big triaxle truckloads of topsoil, and just re-topsoil this entire yard. Add 12 inches of soil. That's what it needs. Level everything off. These sinkholes have all stopped sinking. 
So they're fine. It, the ground underneath is stable now. You know, geologists checked it out. It's all stable now. It was just a shallow layer of limestone that collapsed when they drained the Delaware Canal here. It used to be a towpath canal here in the old days where you'd have the barge in the water and the horse on each side pulling it along or donkeys on each side pulling it along. Pretty neat. But he did an absolutely amazing job cleaning this up. Well worth the trade. He's the guy who got my compressor going. So yeah, so I don't have to worry about this now. I'm good to go for the move as far as this. I'm leaving the tanks behind since I'll have natural gas. And those are owned tanks, so they don't have to worry about um, leasing tanks from somebody. It's going to be a hell of a downgrade. I'm going from a 2,400 square foot house to a almost 1,400 square foot house. A little over 1,400 square foot. But if I get the workshop going... I have the money for that that won't be a problem I'm gonna miss central air <laughs> definitely gonna miss that but yeah for the first time in 10 years this place doesn't look like a shithole I'm very very happy with that all right I will give you guys more updates later on the minivan will be going it's got all my 3d prints in it I gotta kill a wasp nest that's right there in that corner there the electric car will be going at minimum, these two will be going. Whether the tracker goes depends on if he can fix it or not. I hope he can, because I really want to bring that car. So when he comes back at four today, all of that garbage, which is just scrap metal, um, I told him he can have it. It's his. Um, that'll be his. And I told him he can have all that aluminum there. That's all pure extruded aluminum. That's a lot of money right there in aluminum. It's probably 50 bucks in aluminum. That's scrap value prices. But, um... Yeah, that's it for now. That is my Christmas tree, which I'm going to miss. And this elm, I think it's an elm. Or a sycamore. It might be a sycamore. I think it's a sycamore. Whew, that's a big boy. And this was a sapling. That was a sapling when we started. I'll post a picture later on. I think it did in my other video, but I'll post a picture. And that was my first Christmas tree. So. That is it. More to come later. We are scheduled to leave on the 16th. So, uh, cautiously optimistic and scared shitless. <laughs> so, we'll see what happens. But I'm in a better mood. <laughs> That's good. So, I guess because things are actually moving and I'm actually able to start making decisions now, instead of waiting for other people to make decisions for me that will govern my life, I am actually starting to have input on the future of my life now. Limited input because, you know, I'm limited in my choices and money, but... At least I have a say now. And I think that's part of why my mood is improving so much is that I am starting to be able to apply my own will and decisions to the events that are going to be happening to me. And that pleases me. At least gives me the illusion of some kind of control. <laughs> we shall see. Stay tuned.